Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about Biden's uh, shifting attitude towards the filibuster. Now, for those that don't know, the filibuster is a rule in the Senate. And the effect of the rule is that it ends up requiring 60 votes to get something passed. It's a rule. It's not part of the Constitution. It's a rule. Um, the purpose of it, theoretically, was to make sure that there was proper debate about things. That was the goal, in theory. In reality, the filibuster has been an anchor on progress in this country for a very, very long time. The Biden administration is indicating that it's, it's kind of ready to change this rule. And uh, fine, fine. If the rule is changed, it only takes 51 votes. They'll be able to push a lot of stuff through. If they do this, they are taking the gloves off. The thing is, they can't put them back on. You can't do this and then get cold feet. Um, if the Democratic Party amends or does away with the filibuster, they have to push through every piece of progressive legislation they can. They have to tout it at every turn. They have to play hardball from here on out. No, uh, no, just getting rid of it to to get you know the the spending package through. Once it's gone, the Democratic Party has to go all the way. You are through the door, and you, you are now in a really big fight. Um, see, the risk is that the Democratic Party gets rid of it, pushes through a little bit, but the impacts of that policy, well, they're not felt right away. They're not felt, and they don't do a good job publicizing it. They don't get on message. And then when that next election rolls around, that majority shifts. And you've handed Republicans the tool they need to turn this country into the most regressive, backward state in the world. If the Democratic Party is up for it and they are actually ready to, to play hardball and to view politics in the sense of moving the country forward rather than trying to just constantly seek compromise with people who do not want to compromise. It's a good idea. If they're not willing to do that and they get rid of this filibuster, expect Republicans to push through every single curtailment of civil liberties, anti-progress, anti-everything piece of legislation that they can at the first opportunity they have. It is a huge gamble. That being said, there have been enough Democrats talk about getting rid of the filibuster publicly that it may not matter. Because if that majority shifts, <laughs> Republicans may do it anyway. There's enough ammunition for ads to sit there and say, oh, well, you supported it here. So there may not be that much to lose. But uh, there's no half seas with this. It's got to be all or nothing. If they take the gloves off, they have to stay off. And they have to push through everything they can as quickly as they can. And they need to get on message that we're moving the country forward. We're doing something about climate change. We're doing something about education. We're doing something about police reform. We're doing something about the environment in general. We are doing something about the different demographics in this country that have been wronged. Because once that's gone, there's no excuse. There, there's no way to take it back. And the voters will expect a lot done in a very short period of time, and they have to be able to fill it. They have to see it. They have to be able to experience the effects of these policies at their kitchen table before the next election. Anything short of that is failure. Anyway, 
It's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.